And I just realized that the microphone has been off the entire time. <laughs> Happens, right? Happens to the best of us. As I was saying, the uh, semifinal matchup is uh, Adam Vickers and his Esper. I'll get on that. Adam's going to be a disadvantage now because he didn't get the satisfying flush out of the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's what's in the what mid range? Is it just he's playing? Uh, it's basically the Sam the Sam Black deck. Um, are you familiar with that? The one he put on Star City a couple months ago. It's basically. All the Enter the Battlefield guys. It's Sun Titans. Sun Titans Images, Blade Splicer. I don't know if he's playing Images. Uh, he, surely he is, but yeah. he's playing Blade Splicer, Snapcasters, all those guys. And then, but he's also playing like Vapor Snags and uh, O-Rings and Counterspell. Kind of like New Delver without Delver. Yeah, it's a Delverless Delver is what it is. Yeah. I think that's exactly how Sam Black packaged it when he, he wrote that article. Yeah. And then Adam's deck. You're familiar with it, right? Yeah. It's basically Solar Flare without the combo. More Angels than Sun Titans. I think he's only playing two Sun Titans. Yeah. yeah with, the, with the logic being, I think that it's just... I think he's more, more mid-rangey than trying to get to six. Toilet is malfunctioning. That's got to be the worst possible scenario for the shop, right? It's pretty bad. If we ever get anybody to watch this, I think we want to do giveaways. And there's only one prize that I would ever give away, and that is a play set of. Rock Lobster, Paper Tiger, and Scissors Lizard. Because that's how every match should be. That's how you should decide who goes first in any match of magic, right? That's true. I'm missing a... Uh... I have an extra play set at home set aside just for this purpose. And I have, I think, one extra Paper Tiger. I'm missing a Rock Lobster. Um, I'll check when I get home. I have one Paper Tiger. Uh, I'm currently looking for those. That's a, that's a pro play. That's my advice to anyone. Who did that island? I, I don't know. <laughs> well, 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 Joseph currently looks through all of my bulk rares. I, I would have to think that Adam is favored in this deck. In, in a, considering the classic thing when a, in a game of uh, aggro versus mid-range, mid-range wins, in a game of mid-range versus control, control wins. In the game of aggro versus control, aggro usually wins. Isn't usually the guys who's if 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 one isn't markedly faster than the other, then the one that has the bigger bigger threats usually wins. Yeah. But like I said, Jonathan has access to vapor snag, um, so he, he does have some tempo plays. But and he's also playing some titans. But I think it's pretty evenly. I think it's I think it's just going to be dependent on draws. Yeah. I know. I think. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think Jonathan's playing mind controls in the sideboard, which probably be relevant here. Shuts off uh, Vickers' chains. Yeah. I think Consecrated Sphinx will probably have a legitimate impact on this game if Adam can find his. Adam has a lot more deck manipulation than other that. He's playing uh, alchemies. There's a guy summoning monk in there, and then I wanted, I forgot to take it out, and then uh, Max traded it out of there today. Where are those? Just this is my bulk box, the old two in one out trick. Yeah. Cool. There's lots of commander rares in here. Well, uh, Jonathan and Adam are setting new records for longest shuffle and present in the history of mankind. At this rate, so we'll be out of here. 
So it's called Milk Fountain. I said, that's not true. He says, isn't that the number by the eyeball? And I said, nope, it's the number by the little person. 200 is just all-time views. So I'm guessing there were like two besides the little person. Three. Three. One was him. Two other people. I wonder what two losers would watch this. <laughs> I don't know what your mom doing right now. hey yo. Did Adam keep on seven? Uh, I don't know. We are the we are literally the worst coverage team. <laughs> we are. <Possibly. laughs> I'm not sure what Jonathan's doing. I think he accidentally shuffled have his deck upside down. And now he's finally shuffling. <laughs> It's inevitable after, uh, what, is this the sixth round we've covered tonight? Uh, yeah. You're, you're going to lose steam. Yeah. You're going to lose steam at some point. You can only talk about Adam Vickers casting uh, Ponder so many times <laughs> before you wonder why. What do normal people do on a Saturday on a Friday night? Right? Well. I don't know. We were talking about this earlier. Have I asked you the question about the basic lands? No. This is the question of the night. Okay. This is our one attempt at having some kind of content. When you're building a deck, regardless of format, how do you choose what basic lands go in it? And I'm not talking about how you choo choose how many mountains and how many forests. I'm like, like there's, a, there's, there's like probably a thousand different versions of basic lands that have been printed over the years. Um, how do you pick which ones go in? Well, if it's normally like standard or something that I'm going to keep, I normally do the unglued lands. Okay. I know or, you're an unglued guy. Yeah. Then um, it moves down to arena. Okay. I have of those. Mm -hmm. And then um, past that, I just go for just all of the same art. Yeah. Doesn't and, matter as long as they match. Right. Sure. And then if I'm just testing or just throwing together an EDH that I know I'm going to take back apart, I just throw in whatever what random, is? random yeah. box. Yeah. We were talking about that earlier and extolling the virtues of having all the same art. Yeah. And how it's, it's, it's to use another uh, magic cliche term, it's strictly better to always have the same art because it gives yeah. up less information. I'm a Zendikar guy. I like the Zendikar lands. I know you like the glue. I have been slowly amassing over the last few months a, a pile of unhinged lands. Not foil and hinge lands. Yeah, I mass those and then sell them right away because they just there's no reason why a, a foil island should be worth you know thirty five bucks or whatever. Yeah. Secondary market. Well, Adam has a uh, he has a the, guru. Yes. He has a guru <laughs> island and a guru swamp. Yes. He collected oh so many signatures when he was on the elementary school on the playground. Playground. He tells that story every time you he mention does. guru lands. Yeah, that's why we both recognize it immediately. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what's been going on. I know Adam played the Snapcaster for no value, I think. And then right. uh, Jonathan got shot of it. I don't know if Jonathan's cast another spell. Has he? Uh, all I see is the gut shot in his graveyard. 
influence. How, how's the lingering souls get there? Uh, I think he has. Uh, I think he cast Forbidden Alchemy, and I think he may have just naturally discarded the uh, lingering souls. Is that possible? Yeah, he's he's just missing land drops though. He's he al almost passed before <laughs> making yeah. some dudes. I know he's got at least three of those tokens. He doesn't have the fourth one we ragged him last last game. I don't think the Lingering Souls token is really going to impact this game like it might other matches, but I don't know. It seems like if Jonathan doesn't do anything, if Jonathan taps out for something, if Jonathan taps out for, well, I guess it's it's fine here if he plays the angel now. Yeah. But if Jonathan taps out and now draws a six land and plays that sun titan, this game's over, isn't it? Because there's already two phantasm images. Did he get both? He got both those off of the uh, forbidden alchemy, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. So he's not the world's best forbidden alchemy when you get. But he also hit one of his two sun, sun titans, titans, didn't he? No, the other one's in his hand, though. So. Yeah. What? Uh, Oh, had uh, Jonathan forgotten to uh, discard? Mm, probably. Six land. I mean, surely you can't just run it out here, because there's there's got to be literally zero percent chance that that resolves, right? Yeah, probably. If, if he does that, does it yeah. does it have flash? Can you flash it in? If he does that during attacks, I think it would almost be safe to play. Yeah, he's just gonna bait him with the. Blade Splicer. I mean, Blade, Blade Splicer is, uh... <laughs> what happened? Played a Blade Splicer yeah. Jonathan offered him a token, which... I didn't have refused. <laughs> it was the incorrect Tolan. That was a Precursor Golem token. <laughs> so that's a, that's a Bush League move right there. Don't come up in the top four of, uh, F and M at Lost Legion Games and Comets with their wrong ass gone tokens. Alright, now this is where the game ends, right? Mm. I don't know that. He's gonna get three Sun Titans now. Oh, yeah, that's true. Jonathan plays Day of Judgment main, but I mean Tammy just He's gonna tap down that guy. Adam's yeah. gonna untap, slam Sun Titan, get back two images, and a blade splice in it. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty much game for Jonathan. Unless I don't think John. Or I don't terminus I, or anything. Yeah, and that's just the rub ends. Yeah. He's just gonna attack, uh, attack. Mm. That can't be right, right? <laughs> Probably not. I don't, maybe he was thinking of the. I'm not well, really I don't sure. know. He got real. This team was negative. He got real. Uh, minus two. Draw all cards equal to the number of tap creatures target player controls. Okay. Yeah. He could have possibly been afraid that... I don't know. <laughs> but nothing's going to be tapped at that point. He can draw two cards, but... Yeah. He can, I'd let him draw two cards all day in exchange for lethal. That's true. I mean, he's drawing a two outs, I think. I think he plays two Day of Judgments. And, and these two have played each other enough that I think they surely both know each other's deck list. Now, if Jonathan taps out for that Gideon he's showing... I think it's the exact same situation. He's gonna tap out for that, kill the golem token, and then eat a million, a million yeah. damage. He might want to wait until next turn and possibly keep mana leak up. But no, is he gonna plus him or is he gonna? I, I, I think I'd kill the, the golem. Yeah, knowing what he knows, I'd probably kill the golem only. Because he could flash in an angel here and just get wrecked. Right. Mm. And, and to be fair, I mean, these guys play these decks. I mean, Jonathan's been playing this deck for months. I mean, he does it better yeah. than I do, but... And I guess he's shutting down 
I guess he's going to get blown out by Restoration Angel no matter what he does, so if Adam doesn't have it, at least you check well, down that change. We couldn't use the Restoration there because one of the lands was the Evolving Wands. Oh, so. well, in that case, I would have killed the Golem Token, I think. Because yeah. now he can just get the... Well, there's already a Blade Splicer in the bin, right? So that doesn't matter either. Yeah. But now he's going to slam a Titan, right? <laughs> he's going to lament out loud that he draws a Dark Slick Shore as if it matters. <laughs> Very, very good. <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't... The way he's talking, it's like he's upset. Like he doesn't think... Like he thinks he's walking into something, but... Yeah. I mean, even if you get into a day of judgment, I mean, what, what's it matter here? Like, you're never getting that... <laughs> you're never getting that uh, Sun Titan back. The one that's already in the graveyard. Yeah. If he doesn't draw the edge, I don't know, he just loses, right? I mean, he fogs a turn with Gideon. I get some extra draw and stuff. Mm -hmm. Was that a day? Oh, is it a day to say anything? Did he just draw it or did he get it? How quickly the game shifts. I'll just animate Gideon on this one. Yeah, you should. Did he have that in his hand, or did he...? I'm not sure. Well, when this goes to the Vault sideboarding, we're going to walk right out there and ask the man if he's using it. I guess it, I guess it literally <laughs> does. That's something I'm very guilty of. It doesn't matter if he just drew it or if he had it since the first turn of the game. The fact of the matter is he cast it, you got to deal with it. But Adam is playing uh, Doom Blades and Snapcasters. He's going to end of turn, blink that. Blade Splicer, too. Yeah. Is that Gideon just one counter? Yeah, and if Gideon if Gideon attacks here, he's going to kill it, because he's going to pounce his Blade Splicer and block him with the two tokens. Well... The Gideon prevents the damage up to him, so... Yeah, I forget that every time. We talked about that earlier. Ooh, that's kind of rough. Yeah, he can bounce Gideon. Yeah. yeah. And now he can reuse him, right? Right. Yeah, because it's a totally new deck. Mm-hmm. Seems like a good turn. Seems like that Sun Titan play was a million years ago. Is that a dismember? Yeah. He's going to cast that. Hang the life. So he can also play the angel. Mm-hmm. What was that that I just cast? The dismember? Dismember. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a mistake. If he's not going to cast Restoration Angel, then he just wasted four life. Yeah. Which he did. Or did he have Black Sources open? I don't think he had Black Sources. Yeah, he did. He had another. He did. Uh -huh. I don't know if he could have cast it hard, but he could have yeah. at least paid two. Gideon just eats, eats the four. I, I guess he's going to do it now. Main phase. Two. Play around. Dissipate, or... I don't think Dissipate's the main. <laughs> Adam's at two? Is he? Yep. You can see his notepad. You gotta... You gotta get right down in there and check it out, but... Looks like uh, Johnson's at 16. For a minute there, I thought he was playing Basic Island. Oh, that's a that's a promo dismember. I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Killing the perfect, killing the uh, angel. Mm -hmm. Doomblade. That's very good. Yeah. He's just got a land and a blade splicer in hand. <laughs> they both have nothing, right? Adam just drew the card and uh, he's going to take it down to 10. I could break the stalemate. And most important here too is that Adam not only does he have more bodies, but he has two separate copies of Blade Splicers, so his guys are most likely always going to be able to. 
betrayed or killed. They Ming. Who knows what he's naming? Giant at this point, I think. Maybe angel. Is that it? Was that the fourth image? Um, or is that the consecrated sphinx? Probably. Probably me. me yeah. Hmm. Angel. More golems. He, he's doing well. My convictions. Yeah. Because. Um, Jonathan's at six. Does anyone see what it's in his hand? He has a re he alchemy for restoration angel. No, I mean uh, Jonathan. Uh, he that. drew that, and it's a secret coast. But this is game right here. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, That'll do it. There have been some relatively uh, swingy games we've seen today. The game that Max almost won despite being yeah. down a million permanents. And... I like the quote. Um, Welcome to mimic that town. Or whatever it was he said. That was very entertaining. So you can bulk out? Yeah. Did you find some winners in there? Yeah, come in, call the baby. <laughs> call the zero all day. <laughs> He's building himself a zero deck. I gotta do some, uh, some re rearranging here when, uh, yeah, was all that done. poster earlier. It's kind of a little bit to be back in here. A little bit racy for, uh, yeah. can't show, can't show the viewership at home. But there's a, <laughs> yeah. We're back here in this basically supply closet, and there's nothing on any of the walls except shelving, and then there's just one, like, borderline erotic. Like mystic elven hipster chick that says unusual elven dice on it. Qworkshop.com. Whatever. I mean, you do what yeah. you want to do. Oh, look at it. What was it I was going to ask him about? Did he just? I'm going to go ask him about oh, yeah, that day. Yeah, yeah. 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 I want to put in a fin deep somewhere in there. This just in, he had the Day of Judgment in his hand the whole time. Oh. So it wasn't that, it wasn't that dramatic. Have you looked through this since I read it? I don't think so. Last time you showed me a book of trade stuff, it was a box of trade stuff. Yeah. In the other semifinal match, which was Joe Lewis 
in his Miracles deck against Jonathan's brother Scott playing Naya Agro. It was Scott winning in two games. So, we are two games away from an All Right Brothers final. But, I'm not sure how, how likely that is at this point. Jonathan really has a, definitely has an uphill battle, that's for sure. Yeah. I think either of them actually have good sideboard cards in this matchup. Um, Adam brings in the Mimic Vet, I think. It's very hard for him to interact with. I think he has a better skull, too. Um, I'm sure they both bring in Dissipate and the Gates. Like I said, I know, um, the rights were, uh, toying around with the idea of mind controls. Yeah. Thank you, Zach, for your you need this? Yes, I need that and the pithing needle. Okay, I'm broke. Well, we broke our trades off camera. So, in, in developing news, the bathroom is now not just not working correctly, it's completely out of order <laughs> and uh, no longer used. Uh, which is becoming slightly an issue, as I've been nursing this Dr. Pepper for the majority of the night. <laughs> and now Did you never get to the bathroom? No, literally every time I took a break and went out there, someone was in there. This is kind of the perils of doing this, is that I don't really have any time to do anything. Just pull whatever you see out of there. And throw it in the ground. Okay, <laughs> sure. <laughs> You're the one paying for the cards, Zach. I was all influenced. Well, shoot fire. These young men are still playing magic. I don't. I have no idea what happened. He gut shotted a snapcaster. Yeah. Did he snapcaster the gut shot? I guess. Or just. Play I think it. he just played it. Yeah. That's a blade splicer. Mm. He's got an image in his hand too. If he wants to go super aggro. Right. That might be the way to play this game. Yeah. Do you think? I don't think Adam would bring in his day or terminus or anything does run on one side. I, I don't know. I mean, you might want it. Anytime they're playing the, uh, the Phantasmal Image Chain, you might want to think about it, I would think. More than not. GB Joe 2 2 yes. This is a Italian... Hmm. I think I have an English somewhere if you want to look for it. Mom. This mom looks like my algebra teacher. Did you ever get a kitchen picture, kid? I did not. There's one in that book. She looks just Which like book? my algebra teacher. Fine. It's kind of weird. It's real creepy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and remind me before we leave to ask J JB to get that box out that has that foil you need. Okay. You don't want that card. Canker's Thirst, is that the card? It's from Lauren Block. It's like if black was spent, target creature gets minus three, minus three, and if green was spent, another target creature gets plus three, plus three. I'm not sure, because if it was in Shadow Moor, I didn't play. It's like a bomb in Popper Cubes. Adam just ponders and sends him away. What all did you find? Uh, Hinder, Shrapnel Bless, Mother Runes. Do you know how much mothers are? The Commander one's like four. Okay. So like six, hmm. He did. He did uh, image the blade splicer, right? Yes. I mean, I think that's the way to win this matchup. Is just be the beatdown. Because Adams, I mean, Adams clearly the control deck in this matchup. Is he's got the removal. Is he playing Doom Blades or Ghost of Throats? I can't uh, remember. I believe both. I know he plays the Doom Blades. Doom Blade hit the Gideon last game. Yeah. Uh, I did. We did see a dismember as well. There's a dismember. For two line. He yes. played Go for the Throats. He probably sided him. I'm not sure. How 
many lands is your brother playing, Scott? Uh, 24, I think. Unless he's changed it to 24. A couple times tonight I've seen him get to 4 and just kind of stall. Might be 23. interesting it definitely changed it makes it makes combat a real pain um, the restoration angels in the very background for sure. okay. Perinder. the Perinder. Perinder. my favorite character <laughs> <laughs> the memes guys I got internet memes Was that a dog or was that a new, a new voice? No, that's an internet meme. The Goosebumps girl? I've never seen it. Well, it thanks is. to the value of the internet. I'm a bad excuse for a teenager. I'll call it the Goosebumps books. Because <laughs> I dress like an old man and you, don't look up YouTube for fun. You've never seen... I'm <laughs> <laughs> You've never seen this? For everyone else at home, this is the, uh... Oh my god! Curse burps! The, the other one, it says... The, the, the original one says, Goosebumps, my favorite burps. <laughs> <laughs> I can't find it. We'll, we'll go back to the game. I don't think... I literally don't think anything. I don't know that the board state has really changed. I don't know if anything's happened other than him passing. Casting the ponder. Some people take forever to resolve their ponders. Just yeah, because. I'm not sure if he kept their shuffle. The fact that he is not doing anything and just sat there is probably he means he shuffled. Mm -hmm. I have an extra one now because I traded for a foil one. You know what? Awesome sweet rares I pulled from my prize pool last what? week. None. All bolt. Did you get all packs in that? Yeah. 18? Six, uh, 16, I think. 8 Innistrad, 8 Dark Ascension, traded away 3 for Birds of Paradise, Shrine, Sacred Pass, the works. But, that was a little bit disappointing, but the real winnings was beating Richard. And just, that was, that was... <laughs> But back to the game and not Joseph bragging time. I looked it up earlier. Or these one. Hmm? Or these one. They're, they're not. They're not much. I'd say. They're printed on. Which is commanders. I looked it up, but I think it's four. Maybe. Four. Here. Okay. Those for ninety-nine. Okay. okay, so how much is hinder? All right, gentlemen. Try to keep the trade commentary across the mic <laughs> to it's like a slight minimum. <laughs> yeah. Did he just trade his blade spicer? Or I missed what happened, but an angel came down. He lost a token. No, they traded tokens, I think. Both these games, I mean, it's, I know it's a game of variance, but both these games, Jonathan just has done nothing. His deck has just not generated any kind of... I mean, in this, in this game, he he had a lot of offense early. And it, it looked like he his, might look, have Titan here. No, Angel dead. Yeah. Seems fine. Is Jonathan bringing in the gates? Um, you know... I don't even know if he has one on the board. He might have one on the board. Does it dissipate? He brings it in. Dissipate? Yes. Dissipate is the board. I mean, it's about the same thing. I think dissipate's probably better. I know they're saying he didn't take the gut shot out. Uh, yeah, already... He really hates the cat snap caster. He did take out a vapor snag. I would... I don't know. The cat shot... I, I guess his reasoning probably... He wants to be the beatdown. Yeah. 
And it targets the imaged uh, Sun Titan, I guess, mm -hmm. with the gut shot. I just feel like it's snag there. <laughs> it's a red card. That's why I didn't take it out. <laughs> <laughs> he only gets to play one red card, so you got to play it. Five smells like oh, Gideon. Oh. And unaffected by Mamalik Gideon. In a turn, he'll make a token, right? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. I'm such a... I'm such a top-tier player. <laughs> Draws a card. I knew it. Saw that coming a million miles away. Is that an angel in hand, I think? When you untap, that's like a huge tell that you're probably going to move to your draw step. Snapcaster. Targeting. Ponder. Answer that Gideon. What's he got? O-ring? O-ring. Should be. Uh, His own Gideon? His own Gideon. So he's got image in hand at something else. See, this is the problem with... Th this is why I think Adam is favored in this matchup. Because Adam has a way to interact with Gideon. Mm -hmm. And at instant speed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Jonathan does not. Okay. I remember a cube draft game once when my opponent had a Gideon. And I had a crap ton of bounce spells. He eventually hit me with the Gideon. But it was only after... 12 turns and many, many bounce spells. So, instant speed Adam, removal is very good against Gideon, not bounce spells. Adam apparently taking a few seconds to do the train dance. Come <laughs> around the train. That's something we definitely need. We need interstitial music. Gideon sideways. Next week, Hall of Notes. Maybe Tears for Fears. Gideon Sideways, Vault, and Angel Blink. Favorite man, cast Disturbed. Double block. He cast a Snapcaster Mage. Oh, the Adam Adam leaked. The, the Adam Lake. Okay. Did he, he vaulted the Gideon? He did vault the Gideon. Yeah. Gosh, that's going to be a beating. Because I think Adam's deck is more equipped to come back from a... To beat someone that has a billion life. So Adam's back up to 12 now. Well, no. I have no idea. Someone, it looks like someone's at 12 and someone's at 18. Although it's entirely possible that nobody's at either of those. Mm -hmm. Did you just play the one of that? Yes. One and two. Get it's in. done some work. Yeah, he has to tap Gideon. Yeah. What counters are Gideon at right now? How many? Uh, seven. Seven. So go one from this video. Here's my list. Not very much, just the things I can get a hold of. Yeah. I got all these. Killing the spirit. Well, there's no point in, in upping him. He needs a five. Snapcaster. My favorite card. <laughs> <Hold a second. laughs> for business. Like, yeah, like his, that's his alternate art. Yeah. Completely black. Someone just went to the bathroom. Even if they're out of order. <laughs> but they're only using the sink. What do you draw? Image? Nope. Oh. oh. Seems pretty good. <laughs> it seems like literally the best thing that could have happened. <laughs> He's Was a sun titan right here. A sun titan right here. He drew a blade splicer. He has a double no image drawing from his ponder last year. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Or two turns ago, I suppose. Through no fault of his own, your brother does not hold his cards such that I can see them very well. Adam does holds them out very well. For I think that the there. camera may be a bit. Uh, just a bit toward Adam. It's entirely possible. Also, in terms of possible, the camera's like off, and we're just <laughs> <laughs> earlier we not talked for three minutes with a microphone. Because so. <laughs> I'm a high-functioning autistic. There's that blue card. I was looking to play for Ender. Yeah. Not specifically. But... 
What's he saving his image for? That's not true. My mom doesn't play. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Imagine we're gonna see Volt again. That is the promo member. Yeah. Make a token. Tapping all the dual lands. <laughs> There's been way too many blue, blue and white cards in this broadcast. Does anybody play creatures anymore? Me. You do. <laughs> what happened? He attacked Gideon to death. So I went to the Time War tournament in uh, Huntington and got second. <laughs> Davy won, didn't he? Yeah. He was unlimited. Was it beat to hell? No, it was actually a pretty good condition. How much was it? Uh, Entry? 25. No, was it standard? Yeah. Uh, I got 10 packs per second. I mean, that's a pretty steep... That's a pretty steep... Uh, well, he has no way of <laughs> winning this game at this point, but it seems like a pretty good play. Yeah. No hand? No. I think this game is going to hinge in a certain majority on whatever's on the top of Adam's deck next turn. The top of those play maps have creeped ever so slightly north. So that... The glare is back. Well, it's because... Uh, I think Joe is the main culprit. He just kept pushing that... <laughs> that Partition. One for three. Yeah. Snapcaster. Mm, yeah. Snapcaster on. Uh, he, well, he can just raw dog flashback sever, right? Yeah. It's a sorcery, right? Yeah, I think it is. Is that two snapcasters in Jonathan's hand? Nope, that's an island. Slightly worse. Although it is a Zendikar island. And it is a Zendikar island that I put in my decks. Which one? I believe that is a Young Park. A waterfall. This one? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, but I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> <laughs> trade for... These are? No. These are worth more. Oh, they are? Yeah. Cool. That's the most expensive. The Ver the Veronique, right? Yeah. Well, that's cool because that's the one I had the most of. He has an alchemy in his bin, too, right? Uh, I'm not, sure. I'm not sure. He did last game. I feel like he would have flashed it back by now. He's making a quick... Like, at this point, shouldn't he just flash back Sever on... On his? I guess not. I guess Sever's more valuable to kill a Titan or a yeah. Angel. So if he would sever a Golem, it would also sever his Golem? It well. would. Okay. It's everything that's on the battlefield, yes. You say he takes a snag out? He took one out. Mm -hmm. I know one, at least one, maybe more. It's probably one of the worst cards of this day. Pretty good against those Golem tokens. Get them both. Like a pro. Like a dude. I don't, the only guys in his bin would be an image. I don't think he likes. I'm gonna be entirely honest with you. I'm hoping Adam wins. Because then, we're gonna game three. <laughs> it's only so many hours in the day. You need a 
TikTok here. You know? I have one. Does anyone know what the life totals are? Okay. Yes. Uh, Adam is at 7. Okay. And Jonathan is at 16. Jonathan looking through Adam's graveyard. Okay, yeah. Just thinking, it's a pretty good hand right there. <laughs> Dismember! So Adam can't win, right? Mm -hmm. He can vault that Snapcaster. Yeah. But to no avail. He hardcasted that Dismember, right? I think I see. Yeah, he didn't change his life to yeah. um, does have terminus on side if he would have brought it in. <laughs> Sun Titan would also help. Michigan State won. I know you all care. It's got, Jonathan got his hand. See, blue. The last time he had Snapcaster made, but I think that one's on the battlefield now. Uh, never casting the Day of Judgment at this point, is he? Is he just gut-shotting, or is that his Day of Dismember? He angel to Snapcaster and gut-shot back and let it die. Okay, so Jonathan is now at 14. So if Adam draws Sun Titan here, he just, like, wins? Well, I've said that an awful lot today. Is it? Jonathan has today, then, mm -hmm. at that point. And then at that point... Nope. Okay. And I'd say more than Haunt would just take over. I thought I'd had that one. Third. Now is the point at which I would try to go to the bathroom again. Thanks, Lost Legion's bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> and if any of you guys at home would like to donate to Lost Legion to sponsor and fix our bathroom problem so we can keep on... Did you know is there a bathroom problem? Did you know that this uh, right here, this room that they don't use, is a bathroom? <laughs> Did you know? Jamie told me today that the previous tenants of this building were a consignment shop, and they like lived here. It's not a residential. Like it's not. There's nowhere to live here. They just lived here, and there was they made a shower in there with a garden hose. <laughs> West Virginia. <laughs> What's wrong with the restroom right now? <laughs> oh, the real restroom? Yeah. I don't know, just out of order. Probably Adam walked by here earlier and said, the bathroom, the pool is not flushing properly. Hmm. Well, like the oh. <laughs> not children's products, that's what. Hmm. So when is the next... Uh, Inner shop league thing. Not till Charcon. Charcon. In October. That's a perfect. That's a perfectly good plug. Charcon, which is the Charleston area gaming convention. That's uh, October what? Sixth and seventh? Or is it the weekend after? That? It's the weekend after states. Um, it's late. It's like it's closer towards mid October. It's like the thirteenth, right? Yeah. 
Uh, isn't there one the sixth and seventh up in Morgantown? I'm not sure. Popcon, I think it's called. <laughs> not heard of that one. And we're then uh, when is states? Yeah, when is states this year? Uh, Lost Le- oh, the Lost Legion will be running states this year. They will. JB told me. Yeah. So that's that's exciting. The Star City doesn't want it. Hmm. I think it's interesting. Do, is it still going to be like? Or st- is Star City still going to do the Plymouth and stuff for it? Uh, that's not... Star City didn't do those. That oh. was... Um, states... Uh, now, I could be speaking completely out of turn, but I believe States is run by an uh, independent or promoter, and I oh, think they're... Yeah. Somebody out of Arizona or something, isn't it? Like, yeah. they're the ones that... I know the DCI actually used to run it up until... Yeah, it was like four or five years ago yeah. they stopped doing the manufacturer sponsor. Everybody was super upset about it, but... I mean, if you think of it, it's a logistical States nightmare Department. to try and do, like, 52 or 53, I don't know how many it is, like, there's Puerto Rico and D.C., and yeah. to do that many contract out individual um, tournament organizers, and then just, I mean, it's silly. Have you seen the price on the Muda Vault promo from that mm-hmm. recently? <laughs> That's up to, like, 500, isn't it? Yeah. Like a, well, the story about that one is they never released that one in the States. They canceled States before that, mm-hmm. so it was only available, I think, in some European or Asian... Co- I, I, that's the story I was told, is that they canceled States in the mid of that run, and so there was not... The full the full run of them was not released. Or is it some mutable program? Uh, well, they used to have the States... The Champs, what they call Champs promos. Yeah. When you won the state tournament, was it top eight or? If you yeah, top eight was. You got a basically a prize promo, and it was a full art foil version of you know the, uh, the Mutavolt is now worth like 500 retail give or take. Uh, and like I was like I was telling because it was uh, they canceled states in the middle of that. Uh, yeah, the Doran was like is it like a hundred? No, it's like doubled since then. No. But the door you had is worth yeah. <laughs> half that or whatever. If it had that crease in it. It wasn't even that bad, but a card like that, it's... Star City gave me 80 for it. Makes so. it, that's fine. 80 in trade or in cash? cash? So, it's pretty good. Yeah, I tried to trade it off all that day, and then at the end of the day, I was just like, yeah, just take it. Yeah. Well, not many people are going to be able to give you what, what it's worth. Yeah. So Adam will go first. I don't care who wins. I just care that they win in this in a very quick, efficient fashion. I see a mana leak and a doom blade in Adam's hand. Do you? Yeah. Go Molly. Perfect mammas. Ponder. Hold on. <laughs> the very first, yeah, well, not the very first game, but round three, Max is playing. He gets one he land. Up. A one land. Yeah. And he didn't draw <laughs> another one forever. That's, I played that same guy the next round, and I kept a one-lander, because I went down to six, and I knew I'd have to keep, like, a no-lander on five, and I didn't draw a land at all, I just scooped, I, uh, <laughs> and then I won the next two. I want to go back and briefly discuss your strategy of keeping a no-lander on five. I didn't. <laughs> I knew I would have to. you said you were forced to. No, I said I would have to if I went down to five, <laughs> because I was a one-lander on six. Goblins do not mulligan well, because... Sure they do, they don't need two lands. Yeah. Well, I need three, I guess. Yeah, but I had this perfectly curved man hand. It was beautiful. But only in the games against new players. So Jonathan taps out for Tamiyo. Sucks. Then Adam taps out for Sun Titan. And getting his getting his work done out of these ponders. Adam committed to turn an angel here. Get the beat started. And getting value out of him is somewhat irrelevant in at some situations in this matchup. Well, he didn't have it or 
disagree with me. Let me guess, Ponder. <laughs> no! Sick oh, sideboard tag! <laughs> How you like this? I would hope to God Jonathan brought in the Tormont's Grips. <laughs> Here's a pro tip for everybody. If you're playing black in EDH deck, there should be a Night Hill Spellbomb in it. <laughs> The best thing you can do in EDH is abuse the graveyard. How many viewers do we have? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> One? Max is watching, I'm sure. I can go check. Search. You have the Twitch app. Yeah. Couldn't afford the free. It's worn. Oh. Couldn't afford the free. <laughs> well, I mean, paper snagging. The SD card doesn't work, so it all goes straight to the phone. Uh, the slow. The SD card doesn't work because the like the can, the um, SD drive doesn't work. No, the, I don't know. It just says it can't read my SD card. It just one day stopped working. You know, those things cost like a nickel these days. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Being lazy. <laughs> <laughs> he loves dismembering stuff. What did he tap the two man for? Or is this the end of Jonathan's turn? The two is for the, I think the... Image. Image, and this is probably the image, and he must have snagged the golem. He's snagging the yard, and now he's dismembering the. What, yeah. But what turn is this? Do you know? Uh, Jonathan's, I believe. No. No. I think it's Adam's turn. Is there because he? Is there a reason he didn't blow up the spell bomb at that point? Maybe the image turn. on. Okay. Yeah, Adam's turn. Okay. Why didn't he blow up the? He didn't have the one to draw the card. Oh. And, I mean, I don't know if getting back a place plus is that big of a deal right now. It's a huge deal. The success of our people as a culture hinges on getting back plate splicers. <laughs> Some titan is here. And Sphinx. Yeah. He just really needs to get to six. Crazy. Stall out of five. Go shot. That's the universal. That should be everyone's magic play, player's ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Then the sound of. Life totals changing. <laughs> <laughs> Naming squirrel. How many squirrels does your brother's deck run? Uh, I think he's up to eight right now. Eight? That's a rookie mistake. Shouldn't have less than a baker's dozen. <laughs> I hate that's the worst card in your brother's deck. Not because of the actual card, but just because it's. I always have to double check. Dismember? Yes. Just a promo. Vince, we'll see you around, bud. See ya. Have a good one. Are y'all gonna play? Finals? Jonathan said you would. Jonathan said we would? Uh oh. I also don't think Jonathan expected to go to midnight playing <laughs> three games with Vickers. Well, they are both playing blue, so they need to expect this. But you don't play blue. I don't play blue for a variety of reasons. Number one of which is I don't play standard, so it doesn't <laughs> matter what color the cards are. By default, I won't be playing them. Well, you play blue in EDH, so... I do. Look, I'll play, show and, I'll play standard again when they 
When show and tell, when I reprint show and tell. Is that too much to ask? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It depends. Maybe after they stop printing, you know. Or Night of the Real Aquarium. Big cards. Be on that too. Doom Blade, that thing. <sighs> Stinks. Ooh. No respect. He's got a day. He's going to dissipate. Oh, well, yes, he does. With that much mana, I think maybe you just untap. Well, no, because then he gets to draw the two cards. Yep. Ponder. Ugh. <laughs> when someone casts Ponder, I just, I just look at it as, well, the game just added 30 more seconds to it. <laughs> is this it's like the Legacy. Third legacy is just like magical shuffling. <laughs> so, look, no one ever does anything. Everyone just, everyone just manipulates the library, and then eventually someone can see this. That's a, uh, we talked about this earlier, Scott. You guys, as a tandem, might want to look into getting the appropriate token. That's too creepy. Because that... He doesn't like that other golem. That is the precursor golem. That is the precursor golem token, but he thinks the other one is just... He doesn't like it. That's Bush League is what it is. <laughs> he's got one card. Mana leak to get in. Two cards in his hand. So he's just going to play an uh, image? An image? That's yep. a Jace, my friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. I still Welcome don't know. I, I, it's not good, though. Like, what, what was it? <laughs> oh, you know what that does. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? What's it? Who is this? Who is this guy? All the card, no card. His no, angel? His no lands? He could image Splicer, but... He's going for Adam. I think next turn Adam just plays Sun Titan, but he's... Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. Could have saved the image for some Titan. I mean, you don't you don't know he, he's going to play yeah. it, but yeah. at the same time, I'm not going to win. Well, Adam is it? Adam's life pad is like some kind of Rosetta Stone that I try to <laughs> <laughs> decipher every time I look at it. But someone's at four or at two. Here it comes. He's he doesn't have a counterspell in his hand, does he? No, he has day and. Um, Day and Angel. So it's going to get back. Uh, get back. Image and Splicer. Yeah. Or Spell Bomb. Yeah. yeah, Splicer. You know, we were at the TCG player at 5K in Columbus. My buddy was playing Delver, and his opponent was playing the uh, Solar Flare. In the. Uh, is that enough? The three in the air must be enough. Still had all these, <laughs> but they weren't good enough. <laughs> all right, go talk to your brother. Find out if you're playing. What would you prefer? I'm not involved in this. <laughs> you don't make your decisions based on my preference. Well, if we've learned anything tonight, it's that we must figure out a way of accurately keeping track of life total. Bring your big dice next week. Yeah, I'll try. Or just tell him I can get some of those things. Or, no, I think we can use a life total, um, like, app on the phone or something. Yeah, there should be an app. Like, there's an app for the everything. Yeah, but then it's a matter of making sure something is charged for six hours, leaving it out there for everyone. Well, hopefully next Friday I'll do actually somewhat good. It usually happens like that. I'll do really good. Really mm -hmm. He says really yes. Good. We are playing. You're playing? So be it. All right, folks. Feature match of the year. Wright Brothers versus Wright Brothers. I don't know how there's two sets of Wright Brothers, but there is. So stick around, Max. Back to you. 
did much. <laughs> so how did Adam lose? I didn't catch that part. Uh, he, uh, I think his life total was uh, low enough that uh, end, of, end of Adam's turn, after he chained his Sun Titans, Jonathan cast a... Uh, Restoration Angel, yeah. and that was enough unblockable damage to win. Okay. Right, brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Jonathan might find out his I don't know what he's deck playing. that he's playing. Yeah. I mean, he didn't just type in Niagara. Could it be Niagara? Could be. I could put on my play now. I haven't been doing it. Real. <laughs> it's time to get real. <laughs> These boys and their playmates. I played uh, second game day. I played Yin, and he played, and he had an Avacyn Restored Champion playmat, and the previous days Nicole Bolas Champion playmat. And I was like, all right, kind of intimidating here. I still won. Not really. 